Hi, I am Dr. Bhattu Chaitanya, Consultant Transplant and Interventional Pulmonologist, Apollo Hospital, Jubilee Hills. Today, I am here to talk about lung transplantation. It is a process of removing diseased lungs and replacing it with a healthy donor lungs. So there will be a lot of myths about lung transplantation and we are going to discuss few about them. So when do we consider lung transplantation? When we are exhausted of all the medical resources in patients with advanced or end stage lung diseases, then we will opt for lung transplantation. So how will be the process of lung transplantation and whom should we approach? So when we are diagnosed with an advanced or end stage lung disease, it is a time to approach a transplant pulmonologist who will assess the patient and assess the severity of the patient along with the possible optimization of medications. Then once the patient reaches a transplant pulmonologist, then patient will be enrolled in organ donation program. So for what kind of lung diseases we do a transplant? So for conditions like interstitial lung diseases, COPD and fibrosis of any cause and bronchiectasis and other severe lung diseases, we will do transplant. So what is the process after visiting the transplant pulmonologist? So once the patient visits the pulmonologist, the organ donation patient will be enrolled in the organ donation program. So once the patient enro gets enrolled into the state organ donation program, then majority of them think uh, will think that irrespective of the severity, whether we have to go for a transplant or not. So once the patient gets enrolled, it's not that every patient who gets enrolled will go for transplants. So once the patient gets enrolled, they'll be regularly monitored, will be enrolled into pulmonary rehabilitation, they'll be stabilized and they'll be monitored regularly with frequent follow-ups. So once the patient is stable enough, he will be continued with the medications only. But when the patient's disease worsens or when the patient's oxygen requirement increases, then possibly at that time the patients will be enlisted for the transplant. So at what stage of severity we should consider transplant? So when the patient is not able to walk even for few meters without oxygen, if they, if they are not able to do their regular activities, so at that time we have to consider organ transplantation. And how frequently can we get lungs? So we get lungs from a diseased donor. So it cannot be assured, but you usually average waiting period will be around six months. So how will be the quality of life after organ transplantation? So after lung transplantation, the quality of life of the patient will be definitely better if it is performed in an elective way in a very psychologically and physically optimized patient. If the patient is already under the follow-up with the transplant pulmonologist, so if the patient is optimally managed, then our outcomes of the transplant will be reasonably good and the survival chances throughout India and throughout the world will be usually 70% after the transplant. All those with advanced or end-stage lung diseases who are already on oxygen therapy, so better to get enrolled to the organ donation program, visit the nearby transplant pulmonologist, be under regular follow-ups. Uh, the key to success of lung transplantation is early registration and early enrollment. Thank you.